The murder of a co-ed in Iowa is stirring national debate again on the issue of immigration. 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts went missing in mid-July. Her body was recently found in a cornfield. Police charged illegal immigrant Christian Rivera with that murder. The 24-year-old Rivera has lived in the United States illegally for at least seven years. Conservatives say Tibbetts' death shows the need for tougher immigration laws. And even Texas Governor Greg Abbott says the death of citizens like Tibbetts is one reason his state has banned sanctuary cities. Well, joining us with more from Washington is Maria Espinosa. She's national director of the Remembrance Project. Maria, it's good to see you again, but th what a tragedy. Molly was a young American woman about to enter her junior year in college. Uh, I'm sure full of hope for the future. So how do you respond to people who say, unfortunately, murders occur regularly in our society. It's no reason to single out immigrants or ban sanctuary cities or prevent people from coming into our country. What do you say? How do you respond to them? Hello, Gary. Um, it's first of all, our deep condolences go out to Molly's entire family. And, uh, you know, there are so many other angel families also that are hurting right now. And as a result of Molly's murder, you know, they're feeling sort of a PTSD from all of this. They're relieving the, the deaths of their children and, you know, understand that if only our current laws were enforced, just like Governor Abbott is trying to do, like you mentioned, um, their loved ones will still be here and Molly Tibbet will still be here if laws were enforced, if our borders were controlled, and if our politicians had the best interest of American safety it, it, first and foremost. Yes, we, what a tragedy this was. I, I can't imagine as a parent uh, losing a child, uh, any child in any way, let alone by murder. Uh, so our condolences do go out to that family and our prayers, Maria. Uh, but the president's critics say he overreacts. Crimes of illegal immigrants are not as extensive as he suggests, that he's a racist against Latinos and other people of color. So tell us, what is your experience with the Remembrance Project? Well, Gary, the Remembrance Project began in 2009 in Houston because of the sanctuary city policies that my husband, Tim Ling, and I discovered. And, at, and this was after the deaths of Officer Henry Canales and Officer Rodney Johnson. And Officer Johnson's wife, um, Jocelyn, filed a lawsuit against the city of Houston, and that is what caught our attention. And we quickly realized that the mainstream media was not doing its job. If we had not heard about the killings, these preventable killings that permanently separate American families, you know, then the rest of the country had not heard of it. We created the Stolen Lives Quilt banners in a way to honor and memorialize Americans that have been forgotten for so very long. Okay, then, Maria, what needs to be done, then, that is not being done to protect young women like Molly Tibbetts and others? Yes, uh, Gary, it's very simple. You know, we don't need to reform the immigration system. We have a good system. In fact, my father, born in Mexico, came here the right way as millions of Americans and legal residents enter the country. We ask for permission and we obey the laws. We are in a dangerous situation here. Our communities are riddled with crime, MS-13 gang members, and President Trump did not say that every single Latino um, was uh, um, a bad person. He said that Mexico was not sending their very best, and we need to enforce in current laws, and President Trump, he needs to do all he can within his power, send troops to the border, what, you know, double the enforcement, double his force with ICE agents and along, along the border, and also let's increase their pay because they are putting their lives on the line every single day, not sure if they would return to their families um, safely. Now tell me, Maria, are congressional candidates calling for tougher immigration or are they shying away from it as they begin their campaigns this fall? What are, what are the constituents telling them? Well, I believe the constituents are telling them exactly what we are, which is um, enforce current laws and place Americans first. Follow um, Donald Trump's um, America First agenda and um, make sure that um, they're doing uh, as they promised. And right now, you know, there are so many elected officials on every level of government. As you see, there are sanctuary city policies in cities and, and also states. Those sanctuary cities need to be removed. Uh, you know, we do not need to be funding 
uh, sanctuary city policies that are very dangerous and it's very difficult for the American public to run a business uh, when there's chaos within their communities. Is, is this an important issue in this campaign coming up midterm? Number one issue, Gary, yeah. and it has been a number one issue for America. And the more that we bring to the attention of these very preventable killings and a permanent separation of our families, you know, through the Remembrance Project, you know, we're going to do all we can to keep it out there. We're beginning a campaign where we're going to print, unfortunately, more Stolen Lives Club banners to honor and remember innocent Americans who are no longer here in our country able to live out their dreams. And they will not have a voice this November, but you can be their voice, I guess. Maria Espinoza of the Remembrance Project, we thank you for joining us from Washington. Thank you so much, Gary, and God bless you and all your viewers.